hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel and in this video we are gonna discuss about how to buy a vps which is a root server you can install many things in it like your email system or you can host your websites and many more things like tarot tactile also so this is mainly a showcase video about what are the possibilities you can do in this vps when you buy it and especially when you buy a root vps they have two types of vpss which is a root vps and it's just a normal vps root vps is more better because it has more better performance power and they have recently done upgrades to it so it's more better than earlier so that keeping in that in mind we will go forward and we'll buy a root vps in this video and i will show you what are the things you have to do when you get a new vps for yourself so this is the page where i'm gonna show you uh, from step by step how you go about and how you get your things done so vps is this one okay uh, don't buy vps because vps is a bit weak in performance unless you want to host like a bot in it or something like that then it's fine a discord bot or maybe very light task is fine for it or maybe a small test website so that is fine for it you i recommend you to go to my root vps which is a better option so root server so you need to click over there it will take you uh, there because my internet is a bit slow it is taking time it will be faster for you apparently i am having some dns issues because of my isp so select like they have this many lo locations uh, till now they have not come yet in singapore but they have germany and helsinki then they have usa central usa east usa west you can see like you can check the ping which ping is better for you for me it's uh, germany okay you can go on germany and click on germany okay it got added over here and you need to scroll down uh, you can select how many cores you want according to your needs okay this is a pure process how to buy this server if you know need more cpu power you can buy more cpu over here and if you want more ram you can extend the ram but it is for the video purposes that's why i'm making a uh, gb vps you can select whatever operating system you want okay it is depending on your need so I will be going for the latest one which is 24.04 English okay you can select the German language also I'm gonna using one IP only I'm not gonna use two IPs because I need only one for this video and if you want more bandwidth you can go for more bandwidth uh, 5000 megabits is more than enough so you need to do which is like contract based or prepaid some of the people get confused about this so prepaid is basically you pay once starting of the month but contract is like if it automatically renews and automatically cuts money from your payment method so that's why i'm taking it for one month okay and the good part is you can get free zap coins from their social media and you can pay also from zap coins so first initial you need to add five dollars into the account so that you know your account gets activated and you are able to use these zap coins okay and then you can go simply to any of their social media like discord so you get this kind of posts and you need to you know do a search and riddles are there you can find out from the riddle they have this post on their social media you can go on their social media and check it out they have uh, the social media linked over here too okay you can check their social medias also so you will get zap free coins over there so every monday they give a drop so you need to keep an eye and you need to cash it in through here so i'll just go here show you mine is red because it has is some issues with it so you need to go down here and then do cash in voucher so you will get the coins in there so that's it and now we are back to our video so we have so we have uh, done everything here and we have set up everything whatever specs we wanted 
so now we come back here and you can use my discount coupon which will help this channel also to grow so that i can get more videos like by getting this costly machines and you know making videos for you guys so you can redeem it like this and it was cashed and you will get a 20 percent off on your order and then you can go buy okay you need to press buy and then your order will be ready in some time so i'll just do that for you guys or you need to accept the agreements over here you can read this i have read that so i know so this is the waiting progress page and we are back to the main youtube browser okay so we will navigate i made this uh, new account or the child account in my main account so that i can show you how it looks when you get a vps from the start so you need to go to your services or you can click on this icon here which says web interface okay after you go there these are things of because this is a child account child account means a sub account of my main account so this account will be used for only video purposes so that i can show you more in detail and you don't get confused about anything so you need to go to vps's okay this is my vps which i bought which is a linux vps which is running 24.04 english language 64 bits okay so when you get a machine just don't do anything let it be online okay so after when it is online then you can do all the things in the machine before that you don't do anything because it is kind of setting itself up it can take around uh, 20 minutes or 15 minutes just so that the machine sets up nicely and after that you can maybe restart it so saying that okay uh, when it's showing online here you need to check one thing before that and you need to see if you are reachable to the machine from here you will come to know if you are able to connect to the machine or not so this is a place where you need to be where you check first that your machine is up and you are able to connect if this says ip is reachable then that means you can connect from your pc we will go through all the things which are provided by zap posting and this is the dashboard as you can see this is showing all your cpu utilization the ram i have 8 gb ram this is the traffic you can reset the traffic okay uh, depending on your needs we are just using 500 gb so i think we are not going to use that much also so that's it and now we go to access and security so access and security you can generate the ssh key or set your password over here okay for the machine you can set it over here also in settings so that you can log in into the putty so we'll just set it here for now okay we'll set in the both places so it should be a capital letter and a special character and a numerical so i'll just save it i'll just put a password over here just to show you guys so by the time it reloads and it should show this don't press anything this is your event logs like it can show you all the events what has happened okay it restarted and everything okay and this is the settings where you can select your dns if that ip thing doesn't work you can set your dns to 88.44 okay 8.8.4.4 .8 .4. This is Google DNS, but I don't need it because I am able to connect. So this is the password. This is optional. Okay. This is not needed as such. Uh, this is the password you need to set again so that you can access it to prove putty. So I'll just put my password, very secure password. And if you have any issues, any time of time, you can just reach out to them through their chat support feature. Okay. That's a feature you can use for your help and this uh, this is a uh, game server ts3 so you can convert your machine into any games they have so it is a very better you know option you can try out 
so in order to use this uh, feature where you can directly install games without any hustle and you can use it directly through their interface after installing so you need to have a version which is here okay any of these versions like it can be a 20.04 or 22.04 also so these are the versions which are supported okay you can use these versions because i'm rocking the newest version which they have provided that's why it is not possible so that it doesn't integrate with the interface so that said we will go to the next option you can edit your rdns this is your dns where it's uh, pointing to you can use this also as an ip in some places like when you connect to your machine okay and this is the ip addresses like if you have more than one ip addresses you can see that and you can see if it's reachable or not this is very helpful this is a console if you are not able to reach your machine with the help of your um, putty or your terminus you can always use this client so that you can check in what is happening over here just click on it and it will open a prompt for you okay just you need to press enter over here uh, just pull this out so that i can see yes so here then we should put root this is the first time i'm logging in in the machine so i will just do my password now done and we should be there in the machine now you see we are in the machine it says machine reboot required if you want you can do reboot it's fine i'll just do reboot because it's asking because i'm just exploring the machine for now so i did reboot and now it will automatically reboot and start by itself so that's done and you can see here traffic reset traffic reset is nothing but the bandwidth i'll show you in the main browser because this is a paid service you need to have the main account on this is my main account and you have to pay 9.90 euros so in order to get this renewed this is the data which is used during you are like you know using the machine so the data uh, data usage is less then you don't have to do this and this is the ddos manager which they give you with the panel you don't need to worry about about getting ddos it has a some layer of protection on so now it is like off because uh, it will automatically get on when I get DDoS and it will give me a notification of incoming and outgoing. Incoming is like if someone is doing a DDoS attack on you. Outgoing is you are trying to do, you know, a DDoS attack from the machine. And if you are caught doing that, your account will be suspended on the spot or you will be given some fine or something like that according to the ZAP rules so saying that this is all the things about uh, zap hosting okay and now we show you how to connect to the machine open your terminal whichever you are using i'm using putty okay because i feel it's uh, very user friendly you know press add new put your ip wait let me just check something happened here so yeah new host add your ip add your username and add the password which you added earlier and do connect so add and continue it it might take some time or the first time okay i entered my password wrong my bad let us put again yeah so we are logged in now okay and yep this was it about uh, root vps showcase okay this applies for the same and also there will be a link under okay you can help me out or help the channel to grow and get this kind of videos and show some support uh, by clicking on the link in the description down below and that's it this was the tour about how to use app vps and you can do many things with the VPS like install whatever you want like a mail server or a host a bot or host a website on it or anything you want to host on this website. I used to use this for a monitoring software like uh, monitor all the other server and give me a notification whenever the server was going down. 
so this was it guys for this video and i will see you in the next video i hope i get more videos and there are some series planned to get forward and also i will be making a video about the dedicated server so stay tuned about the dedicated server from zap hosting i will show you from the beginning and till the end how to set up and how to do all the things so stay tuned about that and i will see you in the next video till then tata bye bye and stay safe